Ooh, what's up, son? What's up, son? Man, this arm is kind of out there, isn't it? Should I move it here? Is that going to mess things up? Well, whatever you can do to talk into it. Oh, okay. So talking into it is... It helps. Oh, okay. Big time, especially in an audio. We need to, you know... We, I mean, these lights are... They, everything's close on this show. We... It is very close. A little claustrophobic. One thing I realized, we were initially going to upload these to audio platforms, but we have never done that. We've never done that. We need we to do that, do that, get those yeah. up. Maybe we can up the numbers a little bit. Yeah. We put people to sleep on different platforms. Well, Sounds great. It could be dangerous because most people listen to podcasts while they're driving. That's true. Mm. Sometimes we're we not... need that? Yep. Yeah. So... It's been a busy week. It has been a busy Joey, week. Joey, give us the update in the life of Joey Holt. A lot of things happened that I think you should share. Really? Well, let's see here. Um, I had some family in this week. Yep. Yeah, not no? talking about that one. No? Don't care about that. that. Mm. Um, Come on. Come on. Give us the goods. See. We sold a building in Mayfield. Hey, talk to the mic. We sold a building in Mayfield. There you go. Uh, you did sell it? help, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Get a little money? A little money, a little money. Okay. Still trying, you know, that takes a little, little while to get sure, the money. Sure, so, especially in Graves County. Yeah, so we were, you know, an attorney bought it. Um, yeah, there was a bunch of, as it turns out, there was a bunch of buildings in Mayfield, Kentucky that, you know, got damaged, obviously. Or wiped off the face wiped of existence. Wiped off the face of existence and a lot of office buildings. So people are like. I need office space. We need a place. Yeah, we need a place good to timing. operate. Yeah, and so it was, um, yeah, so that came with the price. And, of course, we did the dance, and like, you know, because the dad called me. He's like, hey, you, what do you think about this? He's like, I would try to get closer to the number. And I'm like, okay, okay. So a little back and forth. And then, yeah, so met, we met in the middle, how that usually goes. So mm. it's good. So, you know, that is that building is Sold gone. A building. gone. Fantastic. What else? I uh, can't think of anything. What about you? Nothing else happened to you? Mm. <laughs> I had some, a couple of things happen last month. I'm trying to think. No, I'm thinking about like hmm. you started a... Oh, I started a new uh, little gig. Yeah. yeah. Sure did. I tried to get out, but they pulled me back in. It's in the wonderful world of the Pacino thing. medical supplies, but they pulled me back in. It's nice. It's good. Yeah. Um, so I can't do the Frank Caliendo, though. That no? Uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Well, at least you're back in, back in, the, back in the grind. Yeah, I'm back in the grind. It's, you know, it's, it's a gig. It's a, uh, you know, it's... It, they're all they're the same man it's uh durable medical equipment it's sales it's territory it's uh a couple of people that they wanted to bring on you know th- th- another guy they're going to bring on to try to help me out in the southeast was uh he's like close to retirement so he's like yeah i'm gonna pass i'm retirement retiring in a year so I'm just gave it all it. to you so i'm just like yeah so i've got like this giant territory so i gotta get all that sorted out but um yeah i'm back in that and you know that's just how it goes you become a i don't know if you become a victim of your experience but if you're trying to get out of something and go into another area of a a line of work it's really difficult because you're you know at this point in your life uh, you know your your resume is pretty weighted to one side (laughs) <laughs> with this experience like with me i started out in um in banking and insurance and then you know about 15 years ago i went into the you know medical field into the i don't know it's not retail but it's uh you know basically sales, sales you know yeah medical equipment it's, it's very exciting subject matter fun stuff yeah oh yeah and i got married Shut the front door. <laughs> <laughs> you got married. Joy got married. But what? It Should what, be like this thing that pops up now. Hey, hey yeah, you got to add that in post. You have to do you're, that one. You're not gonna add that in post. So totally it, on to add that in post. <laughs> um, yeah. So Joey got married, y'all. Yeah, put Big a congrats. Uh, yeah, see if you can put a ring. On. I haven't gotten the ring yet. We're doing everything Wait. backwards with that. Really? Yeah. So we got married on January 19th. Um, decided that was gonna be you know the the day that we do it. And um, we were gonna like have a big party and, and make the announcement um, a little later on, maybe six months from now or a year from now. We're just trying to a year. Try, you were gonna to wait a year, out. yeah. <laughs> but the cat got out of the bag, and, and then I had to start making phone calls. How'd the cat get out of the bag? Um, <clears throat> I had told we, we, we were saying, okay, we'll tell one person to kind of uh-huh. scratch the itch of you know, oh, okay, right. you you yeah. And then, but they didn't tell. It was. Uh, um, we had company over, and it was one of it was my niece. We had a little family night, and uh, 
they came over and saw um, the like the the paperwork, like the envelope and and stuff for like bar- marriage license and all this stuff. So anyway, so it's just like so we told them, and then you know it's just like um, my sister was a little upset. I could t- I could tell she was upset that she wasn't told that this happened. And I was a little surprised by that because she's pre- pretty cool about stuff like that. She's like, oh, I get it, you know, it's, it's your thing, and you know, she's she's real laid back like that. So her her um, reaction was really surprising to me. So I was like, so don't say you better tell your sister. And she met, messaged her sister, tried to call her, then messaged her and said, hey, guess what? <laughs> and so her she got the same re- re- reaction from her sister too. So we're like, okay, we're gonna have to make some phone calls. So. That day, I called you, I called Jared, I called Ralph, uh, <laughs> Dad, Mom and Dad. Oh, they wow. didn't know. Mom and Dad and my two other sisters and told them what's up before they saw it, you know, on Facebook or something like that. So we had to tell the people in our circle, you know, so they didn't find out. Because it's probably insulting if you find out on Facebook. You're like, what the heck? What? Yeah. So, yeah, that happened. So yeah, we did it all backwards. Um, we were gonna do that. We we're gonna have a big event, and you know, like we, we hadn't figured that out yet. But uh, <laughs> we, yeah, we we were gonna, yeah. So th- we don't have any of the stuff done. We just um, got married. We th- we went downtown, get you know to the courthouse, got the license. Did you have, gave no them witness, money, you got that witness gave them money. That? Yeah, and then there's a place. There's a little chapel downtown in murfreesboro that this was in murfreesboro where you can get married. I you did this in nashville for some reason uh uh-uh. oh it's, downtown murfreesboro so in, in downtown murfreesboro there's a place when you said you, downtown that's what i assumed was downtown like you went to nashville and did this Ch- you, the chapel o love it's a, yeah it's called uh is it called marry me is it, it's called getting married <laughs> that's not what it's called in tennessee is it really marry me you know it's have to look something that up. it's something um uh let's see marry me Murphy's marry me Murphy's bro Tennessee it's called marry me yeah and so you go in and I thought you know we, we're gonna it's just gonna be like a, okay here's a license uh something gets notarized we do signatures and but she the, the lady was actually really cool so she like took us in this little chapel that had all these flowers and all this stuff that's always the scene from it's like uh, I do I do you do you yeah, the hangover you, yeah and then you got like, the high roller package I did not, man. I got, <laughs> I got the bare bones, man. The, man, should I say how much it cost? No. Okay, that's nobody's business. Because it was, it was not much. I'll tell you that you can get. It is way cheaper to get married than it is to get divorced. I'll tell you that. You've done both. <laughs> I've done both. <laughs> I know this from experience, and and it's it and it's not even close. So, yeah. Well, congratulations to you and Sarah. Thank you. It's a long time coming. Ooh. Yeah, that's funny, yeah, because it's just like everybody's congratulating. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I've been, been together 11 years. 11 years? Mm-hmm. I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah. Wow. My parents were really happy because we're no longer yeah. living, living in sin. sin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic, man. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a busy week over at the shop. It has. We had a big we haven't sale. We had, had a chance to clean up. We'll look, look at this. No, nah, this isn't clean. This is actually going out next week. We're going to get to that in a minute, He's though. The new book, so. we, uh, we had a sale. Did a good job with the sale. President's Day sale. Fun. We had thanks to everybody that came out and supported mm-hmm. us. President's Day. Yeah. Our next sale will be free comic book day. That'll be the next one. It's going to recover from this one. And yeah. Well, the the point of this sale was to reload. Uh, reload, man, because it's like we have all these long boxes. We've been we've actually been doing a lot of planning, but we we have all these long boxes that are really an eyesore. We can agree on that. They just don't look good. They don't look the table good. tablecloths are what make it look like. Yeah, I'm and it takes up half the shop. Kicking these tablecloths under the table, but uh, yeah. So, but we were like, man, we got to get rid of a lot of this stuff, and you know, so a lot of these Funko Pops. I love Funko Pops. I got a bad rap for that, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cool with Funko Pops. We sold quite a. How excited was I for Opus Eponymous? Very excited. Pretty excited. And so, um, yeah. So we and we just ordered what. Power Slave. Power Slave, yes. Iron Maiden. And I'm excited about that. So I, I really love those pop albums. I wish we would have pulled one down. But, um, yeah, so it's just like kind of, you know, out with the old, in with the new. Because we had a lot of people that, you know, you come in and you go through these long boxes. And, if, if you know, we have people come in pretty often. And they don't need to see the same stuff all the time. So. No, we're going we're gonna to rotate. We're going to try to get some different backstock and 
maybe condense it to where it's a little bit more, you know, the flow in the store is a little more easy to navigate, but at the mm-hmm. same time have enough stock in here so people can look at stuff, but at the same time try to find something a little newer. Because, I mean, still, there's still a lot of my old collection still sitting over there that we've been looking at for nine months. We just want to rotate it. As real. Is As real still back there? Oh, yeah. I used to love that book. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, not yeah. all. And we're going to do a few other changes around here. Mm-hmm. Not sure when, because we're going to have to carve out a day. We, yeah, it's going to really be. If it we're doesn't pro- take we're probably going to have to have some help, too. Definitely going to have some help yeah, soliciting volunteers. Yeah, absolutely. Tom. Yeah, Matt, in the comments. Trent. Trent, yeah, all you guys. <laughs> uh, um, but, um, cause it will take these, these guys right here, it will, it, it they may not look heavy, but man, man, it takes four people. For those of you, I don't know, at minimum to just lift it up off the ground and move it loop to move one, one of them, one section, which are, what are they? Five How did feet we tall? get these in here through the four feet of the front door? Mm-hmm. Who helped us get them? Just me and you then we unloaded them by ourselves. Well, we get, we got those. Did we use those, um, forklift shoulder things i don't think we i think we got them but then it never worked well because you and i couldn't use them because you're seven feet tall and and i'm there there was no yeah you know just a you know i don't remember how we got them on five eight with you know shoes on we got them in here though yeah we got them in here yeah and it's uh, but yeah moving them to one side because we want to change we always change the layout but we're like we're really trying to change the layout now um, really trying to bump up the kids section. We've had a big bookstore that's. Um, uh, I, well, they can well go it's out not of just business, that. It's not just that door. we're trying to compensate for the lack of books a million closing. It's more of. Well, it's more of we we want to do a few more events in here with it are more kid friendly. You know, like we do Tuesday do morning, that. you know, book readings and stuff like that that we can't do because of the way it's set up and it's not conducive for that. Mm-hmm. You know. But there's so, a lot of people that took their kids to Books a Million and looked at books. Yeah, looked at books. That was just a and we are trying to beef up the, the kids. Sec- that's, yeah, so and that's that's something fun. That's uh, I used to do that before all of this with Abigail. We had a Books a Million ride. But we also like have to keep room for our big kids and mm-hmm. their toys and books to read every week too. So, so space is an space issue. Space is our issue. We are trying to be creative. So that's what's going on inside the shop. Inside the shop. Well, it's big. Been time. a good week. We'll see you next time, guys. Well, thanks. We covered for it all. Written and directed by George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt Path. And Matt Path. What's going on, Matt? Matt. What's up, buddy? Uh, no, uh, no issues here. We no issues Gus there. Gus in the house. Your buddy Gus. Yeah, Gus. Say hi. Hello. All right, great. Got my buddy Gus in from Florida this this evening. He's a he's a Union Bulldog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's okay. actually he went to both U's. Oh really? Yeah, he went Miami? to Union College and the University of Miami. Well, he went to law school in Miami. Okay. Good picture. Yeah, law school. Cool. Um, Love it. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a good guy. Yeah, well, I haven't seen him. Welcome in, to the shop. I haven't shop, seen guys. him in probably four or five years. He was saying it was. It was definitely a before while. COVID. I think it was even a year or two before that. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's you know, life happens. Reunions. Yeah. He got married and had kids. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, that, that is a thing. So yeah, it's been good to hang out today. Uh, but he came down to watch me make a fool of myself on his mm-hmm. podcast, which is always fun. It's always fun. Can't get that thing to work. Did you up? turn it off? Oh. No? Okay. Um, so this week's, uh, man, we're looking forward to, um, I made a mess on the table tonight because I wanted to kind of bust out the books and go through the books and we can talk about some stuff this week. Kind of, because I was. Go to Tommy's camera. Go to Tommy's camera. Yeah, focus on me for a second. All right, I'm going to go through some DC books while Joey does whatever he's doing over there. All right. Um, this week, if you can tell, this is just so you guys can see the difference here. And we haven't gotten Diamond, which is all the indie books. And actually, two of these are graphic novels. So I'm going to pull, or sorry, trade paperbacks. But I'm going to pull these out. This is our DC, well, not entirely. These uh-huh. are the DC books. This is like one of each for this week. These are all Marvel. So we're going to have a very Marvel heavy week. Are you good to go? Oh, yeah. I'm good. Okay, we're good. So you can come back out. You can have to tell me. Anyway, so I just thought we'd go through the books in D.C. and just kind of talk about them, Joey. What do you think? Let's do it, man. Harley Quinn's out. Well, we got two trade paperbacks. This is uh, for D.C. Generations, which was awful. <laughs> um, and then Stop. Deceased, and I'm, I'm going to get to that. Hope it worlds in. I think this was the actual print version of what they – it was like an online um, story that was went with the Deceased line. 
Yeah. Which I actually enjoyed Deceased really yeah, well. Yeah, you told me that. I so even though I said this is awful, this is a DC book that I'm actually saying I really enjoyed. All right. But I don't think I've read this one because it was, like I said, it was online. So I might borrow this and read it. What you got? What you're looking for? You got Well, that. I mean, I'm loving, nobody's buying this, but I'm loving Refrigerator Full of Heads. You're a Joe Hill guy, though. I'm a Joe Hill guy. I'm loving Rain. And um, that, that that had a new issue this week. Anybody that's reading that um, would love to hear from you in the comments. And see is this as good that. as Basket Full of Heads? Is it a, a continuation? Uh, it's a continuation, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's this hatchet that um, oh, I see. is famous and everyone's after it. There's, there's, there's sinister powers that be that are really looking for it, but it starts falling into these regular people's hands. We can't have it in regular people's hands. Uh, well, that's what the yeah, that's what the secret powers that be mm. think. And so, is this the secret powers that be in the window? Possibly is. I haven't read this episode okay. yet, but you know. So it's a, it's a recommendation. Stands to reason. For me, yeah. It, and it's I think good. we have it's one fun. some of the earlier issues. So if anybody's looking, come yeah. on, Bob. We skipped these books. Hold on. We didn't talk about Harley Quinn. <laughs> well. I, I'm just wondering, is this more Eva Green or is this more... Um, Lois Lane? No, like... Who is it actually in the story? I haven't read this one yet, so I don't know. But is it Eva Green or Penelope Cruz? What are we, what are we seeing there? You got on my camera? I'm seeing Eva Green now that you said it. Yeah, or Penelope. But there's... With Dark Side there's creeping va- her in the back. There's vaguely Penelope Cruz there. I don't know. I don't think Penelope, Penelope Cruz. Who's on the back? But I'm enjoying the book. This is like the coat girl. I love that artist. He's He's... Low key, maybe becoming. This looks one of like my the chick favorites. from uh, what's her name from uh, Mary Ann from Gilligan's, Gilligan's Island. Island. Yeah, may she rest in peace. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm liking this. Matt, are you reading Human Target? You don't. Um, I'm, I have the issues. I haven't started reading. It. Okay, yeah. so we don't know. So you know, it's, it's some got people. Your, Nick got your boy likes Tom it. King, but yeah, like, he's not my boy. But Greg Smallwood is um, really low key becoming one of my favorite artists. I dig the art. I've never been a Tom King fan. I think we know this. Everybody knows that. Even Tom King. He doesn't care, though. Yeah, he's just so making up stuff. Harley's out this week. Nobody even, like, I don't think they read the story. They're literally buying the covers. <laughs> Why wouldn't they want Incredible Superman here? Because he got Derek Chu, Sexy Harley, in the hat. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. They're definitely going for something there. Hardware. Um, Look is, at the art on the inside. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, it's terrible. I mean, I'm. I don't need to be making fun of people's arts or critiquing it, but it, yeah, but it's ooh. it's. It almost looks like the E. Kill Bang mm-hmm. artwork. Yeah, the, it's probably the same artist. Probably. I don't know. I have to look. Probably he's working double shifts. Hardware season one, Over number DC. four is out. I think one person pulls this. That's why we have one copy of it. Mm-hmm. So plumber. Soul Plumber. I got Soul sidetracked on Soul Plumber, Plumber, man. Is it still good? Are you still reading it? Um, is it still funny? Yes, I'm. I'm still reading it, but I'm. I'm on. I, I'm, I read three, so I, I, I read got a issues bit one and two. Up. I didn't put it down because I don't like it. I put it down because I got things and distracted. This thing. This no thing idea was. what this is. I don't know. I don't even I, remember ordering this. I probably. I probably ordered it because it looked like Mothra. It looked King, like or thing. Godzilla. Yeah. King King Jira. I thought it might look good on the shelf. Oh my gosh! Look at this. King Jira. Ooh yeah, yeah. It, de- it definitely looks better closed. <laughs> no offense. This reminds me of that one book, Ludocrats. Remember we went to Dragonfly and we were gonna buy a copy of Number One, and he goes. Have you read this? <laughs> We're like, no. He goes, don't buy it. Because <laughs> I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I appreciate it. Or he's going to give it to us. Yeah. Or he's going to give it to us for free. Well, I had the I had a, a on a pull over at Z's back then. I had it at a pull at first edition. Yeah, and I was like, like, and I already had it. It was bad. It was, it was bad. pretty awful. Actually, he actually pulled it's, the it entire. Might be in the hall I told him I didn't bad. want the series after number one. He pulled the entire series because I'd already missed the FLC. So he, uh, I ended up buying the. whole. They're actually over there in the dollar bin now. I think they're still there. Um, this your book? Did you buy that one? Probably. Oh, it looks like something I'd buy. Shepherd. The Shepherd. Um, this looks like Firestarter. The Valentine, just in time. Just in time for Valentine. This looks like, could be pretty good. Mm. Well, Scout, you know, that's, that is a... That's Black Caravan. That's a fun... Which I think is a... It is a Scout, scout imprint. imprint, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Robin's, Robin. You're liking Robin? Uh, I've lost track of Robin, but oh. this cover's pretty dope. Yeah, who is that? Talia. I was wondering. Talia, okay. Talia. This is Damien's parents. Since this book's about Damien, mm-hmm. it's his parents. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. All right, we got um, Action Comics. Yeah. 
Action Comics. Oh, yep. Mongol. Also featuring Martian Manhunter. Martian. I have not read an me action comic. Martian in, Manhunter. I have not read an action comic in forever, so I have no idea where that's standing. Do you remember that part of uh, Justice League at the very end? You call me Martian Manhunter. Oh, yeah. Manhunter. It's terrible. God. Um, this series is still, somebody's buying it. Deep Target. <laughs> if you care about Aquaman at all, please hit us up in the comments. What's well, Aquaman and Green Lantern, so you can't go wrong. This series, it says, Out of the Ashes. Mm. Out of the Ashes. Actually, this is now in the ashes because it has officially been canceled. Oh. I think May is the, the May one is the last issue. Number well. 15, I think. Task for Z. I was digging this book, but I have not kept up with it. But I enjoyed it, though. Yeah? Yeah. What What's it? What's Task Force Z about? All the people that have been killed recently in the DC Universe, like Bane and... Um, Solomon, well, Solomon Grundy has been dead, but um, there's a couple, I can't remember the other one. Red Hood is like the leader of it, but it's like all these characters that had died and they've kind of come back as like zombies. Mm. Bloom. Not Bloom, what's his name? Yeah, Bloom. What's his name, right? Whatever. It's okay. This is, Matt gets upset when we talk about Wonder Woman. He thinks Wonder Woman should be doing better. But it's got cool covers. Yeah, well, you know, Matt and I were talking about that. How you know, dude, if the if if some of this that you, you know, that you're reading, the content is as good as the covers, man. And their cardstock and just I don't know, you know the the cardstock covers good. are pretty good on some of these. They are, boy. They bought them up in the dollar bin. No idea how good this is going to be if at all. This is new, y'all. Aquaman number Aquaman men men Aquaman number Aquaman. one men. Oh, there's the first dude, appearance yeah. of Chris Hemsworth. Uh-huh. As Aquaman. As Aquaman. Looks just like him, dude. I'm sure you're a Hemsworth fan. This one actually does, too. Uh, no. No. I don't think so. What do you think? Uh, not as much. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Looks like uh, Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's that's more, that's more along the lines of... of I have not been keeping up with this, but it actually started pretty solid. What is it? Batman versus Big B. Oh, that's the werewolf thing, right? Yeah, it was pretty yeah. good. Now, these have been straight up cover buys. That's actually a pretty cool cover, too. Yeah. You know what? I got to say, I've, but this not, one, I've not been hating Catwoman. Jenny Frizen? Man, she is. Re- I mean, I really like her. I really like her. You stuff. and everybody else in this shop. Yeah, I know. But, but I mean, it is, it is. you know, yeah, of course, you know, it's. Uh, Nick was uh, Nick Comic Culture um, was uh, we were talking about the other day, and he's just like he he that she draws the the face the faces to her likeness. I was like, oh really? Because I really hadn't seen a picture of her. Wait, Jenny Frizen draws herself? S- that's what he said, or some variation of her likeness. Uh, she looks like that. Faces. Bring up a picture, Jenny Frizen. Jenny Frizen. Got to yeah, see this. I think there's one. Like he took a picture. Uh, he showed me a picture of a selfie. Um, on her Instagram. A lot of those artists don't post their pictures of themselves on their Instagram. He said that was the only one, and it got a lot of attention that she really, I guess, didn't want or the, not the kind of attention she wanted. See, it's going to show up a lot of her art. There she is right there. That one. Click it. <laughs> Let me look here. I don't know if that's the best. Not any bad. Okay. So, so there's an Instagram picture. That one probably looks more like her. That, that Yeah. That Catwoman, 35. That doesn't. Um, there's one on her Instagram that, that he showed me. I haven't seen these pictures. But I was like, huh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, okay. Huh. Well, all right. Well, possibly. Possibly. Hmm. But I couldn't really say for sure. Well, we anyway. enjoy. regardless, we enjoy your artwork. Yeah, I was thinking, like, we drop a lot of names of, of some regulars here. And I, I was thinking that well, we should, like, print off, like, like pictures of them, cut their heads out and put them on sticks. They got to be big fat heads, though. right? Fat heads, um, and then we just pick it up when we're talking about it. So people at least Nick can, said, yeah, yeah. Com culture said Nick Junior. Tom, you know. All right, all well, let's go people. through these DC books real quick. Yeah, if you go on down, Jenny Frizen. Uh, wait, oh, wait, oh, she's like right there. Uh, the up, 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 up. Go up right there. That's her. Yeah, that's her. Okay. Look at that dude. He's just happy to be there. It's probably your husband. Probably definitely your husband. He's like, hey. All right. 
He's like, um, don't everybody see our diamond? You know, there's go to the new. It's always funny over. to see the husbands that are just like, yeah, I, I, I batted out of my league here. Um, I'm just happy to be here. I haven't been reading this one, but still rocking. Apparently, this is a dope cover. Let me just throw that book down. Okay, uh, Conan yeah. homage. Conan. It's pretty cool looking. Mm-hmm. Old Deathstroke. That's a That's pretty a cool good cover too. Yeah, this is kind of cool. If you if it you saw the whole thing, like it's it's a big wall of masks. All those. This one is. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, if you if this wasn't cut, you know, out around the oh. edges, this is a whole wall behind him. I think I saw it in the last issue behind. Oh really? Yeah. The antagonist. I, I actually have stacked that series up I and can't ready rem- to read it. I can't remember his name, but yeah, these are all faces and heads on a wall. It looks pretty cool. It's got the it's cool Batman yep. and Robin. Yeah. Was that Robin with his uh, sneakers on? I think this is a more realistic idea of what OG Robin could look like with, you know, his pixie boots and Oh, okay. It looks like he's got some cross trainers on. It's got like some sliding shorts like baseball, you know. Mhm. Soft. Yeah, got some knee pads. It yeah. looks like he put put it together before he really refined the look. Probably. Yeah. Those are combat boots. Can you see that? This is never going to come through on the shot. It's probably getting a clip. You put it up to your face. There you go. And last but not least, DC versus Vampires. And you're liking that series. Digging this series. It's pretty cool. Come and buy it, guys. We got them. I don't know why. I'm not a big vampire fan, but I've been enjoying that series. I can see that. And I've also been enjoying Dark Knights of Steel. Mm Mm-hmm. This morning, I actually made a point to sit down and get caught up on Batman with the new Williamson run. Okay. And I'm enjoying it. That started at 119 or 120? 118. So now we're at 120. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm really enjoying this storyline, if it sticks with it, because it's more of a detective story. Okay. So I'm enjoying a detective, a good detective story with like, Batman. Like a good detective story. Well, I mean, that's, that's what that, we want. That's what we want with Batman. Mm-hmm. We really do. He's do. But it's also detective. still very dark. I mean, you need to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Yeah. DC stands for what? Dark comics. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But it stands for what? Detective comics. And that's what we want. That's all we need. All right. All right, man. You um, looks like you got some stuff off the boat. We got some stuff in, man. I thought we'd do an unboxing tonight, just to kind of okay. talk it up. All right, sounds good. Talk it up. But big Marvel week, man. This is this is how y'all can see how Penguin actually. They've really kind of done a good job with their boxing. Shang Chi this week. Oh, Shang Chi. This is a a variant, but it's. Gonna be one of the books of the week. Ghost Rider number one. Look, Matt, it's were you talking Matt, were you not talking the other day about Ghost Rider? Doubt it. No, never mind. <clears throat> Wasn't Matt. Somebody else. I was talking to somebody about Matt. Ghost Rider. Doubt it. Shang Chi Gwen. Ghost Rider variant. Gwen has really been on the scene past this week. X S Wolverine variant. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. That's Reary. Little World World War One. Ironheart. Reary. 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 Looks comfy. I'm not sure about that cover. It's two of them. Yeah, it looks like Thanos has a leg cramp. Is this Polaris, uh, at Matt? Correct. It's the Gwen. Gwen. Gwen Polaris. Yeah, I got you. Gwen, Gwen Laris. Do you want that one? Can we put that in your pull box? Uh, is, wait, that was uh, Silver Surfer Black 2? Ye- Rebirth 2. Oh, uh, yeah, Rebirth 2. Yeah, yeah, I'll take one. Okay, cool. Uh, X Death. I'm going to write Wolverine. your name on it here, Matt. Thank you. Another Ghost Rider variant. Oh, yeah. Any Ghost Rider fans? That's Man, a that's a si- is that a 64? Might be. Silk. Silk. Man, that's a. It's a big cheeseburger. Who is this? This is a Gwen, but who's the X-Men? Is it Captain Britain? The new Captain Britain? The new, uh, Does he have a sword? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a she now, I think. Oh, it is? Yeah. It just says... It's so quite in Skechers. 
I don't know. What? This is Emma Frost. She looks cold. Yes. Cold busted. Cold. There's another one. There's a lot of Ghost Rider variants in here, bro. Yeah. We went all in on, on the ghost. Oh, that's a cool one. There's another one. Just three of those bad boys. You better not stay there long. Those blinds are made of plastic. Four of those. Five of those. Oh, Ooh. here's that book you were talking about. Is this a variant or is this a... No, it's a variant. Man, that's sick. It's the blind edition. Look at this one. Electro. Black, White, and Blood. Is that number two? Yeah. You were talking about that book. I was. I was talking about that book. She's Daredevil. There you go. X Lives, Wolverine. This is what I was talking about. This was the, I think this is the Peach Momoko cover, but they did um, Robbie Reyes with Challenger. Do you like Peach Momoko? Do you Not like really. his stuff? No. You don't? What about you, Matt? Uh, oh, it's a woman. It's a woman. Correct. Yeah. yeah. No, I, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah. Hit or miss. Spider Man. Yeah. Phoenix. I'm in the same way. Hit or, hit or miss with that one. There was a Spider Man, I think, 75 that she did. This is a wraparound really good. variant. Uh, is this the A? No, it's a variant. This one's for Savannah. It's a Scotty Young variant. Yep. We got y'all. Pat. Pat, Pat and Savannah. Savannah. Y'all are hooked up. More Shang-Chi. Ooh. Second, what? Second book of the week. Best for last. Carnage Forever variant. Or Carnage, if you're nasty. Carnage. All right. All right, you open your box. All right. Craftsman, made in America. <laughs> Who was the package by? 38? Oh, well, I was just talking about the, oh, your, the box my, card, Craftsman. Well, I bought two of those, and one of them broke. You know what? Dude, I was, are I Craftsman, was, can you still, now that Lowe's owns Craftsman, can you still return them? I Do they still have a line. lifetime guarantee? I was in line at, the, at Lowe's, and a guy in front of me had, like, craftsman tool in his hand and he's like yeah i'd like to return this and they're like okay and he's like i was told i return craftsman here at lowe's he's like yeah I, I don't i don't do that he's like how long have you had this and he's like about 14 years 15 something like that i'm like okay he's like lifetime guarantee i'm like okay well let me uh let me see who i can uh get to see i don't <laughs> really know how to he was just he never finished his sentence he's like i'll just be right back and <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he get the exchange? I don't know. He, I, uh, I I moved on with life. Uh, Does anybody know the answer to that? Can you still do yeah, it? Yeah, we'd like to know. Oof. Let us know. Always put it in the comments. Craftsmen are still guaranteed by. Yeah. So. Guar guaranteed for life. Guaranteed USA. Look at all this over here. There's a theme here. All right. What? So, red and black. Red and black. Okay. All right. What you got? Miss Marvel. Kamala Khan. Number three. Number three? Let me hand you these. I don't think anybody's even pulling this. Maybe Lily. We're still buying them. Well, look at this. BW this week. Who wrote? Who drew that? Does it say? It's a cool uh, cover, though. Yeah, looks pretty cool. In a, in a uh, uh, bathtub uh, full of roses and her Glocks. All right. We got it. This is Black Widow. Here you go. Any Dark Ages fans out there? Did that is Spectrum or Photon. Spectrum. Which is it? Monica Rambeau, but I don't know. Is this Photon or this is Spectrum or Photon? Matt, I'm asking. Um, Come on, Matt. Yeah, I do. It's Spectrum, yeah. I'm guessing. We should know this, but... We just I just sold in that that first appearance yesterday this past Chip that girl yesterday. Devil's Rain. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's been pretty hot. Yeah. Wait, these are, are these second printings? They are. Strange Academy. Those are second printings, bro. Sixteen? Yeah, it looked like it. You with the with that cover, the black and white on there. And here's a little little peach for you. Dark Ages. That's that's Echo. Isn't it? There you go. I don't like Get a little peach. Peach Momoko. Yep. 
Another peach. Let's see here. I don't like her art. Not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, we're back to a cool Black Widow covers. What we got? Thompson Casagrande. There we are. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like it. This run. This this this. This has gotten pretty popular. Pretty yep. This Black Widow run has gotten really popular. I don't think Matt's pulling it, though. Yes, I am pulling it. Oh, you are? Yeah. Fantastic. Maybe that's why there's so many. Yeah. Adam Hughes. And there's keep on coming. Keep on coming with them. Here's another little bundle of Strange Academy 16. I got a, I got a peach and mocha cover. I bet you'd like. Yeah. You, oh, you do? Yeah. I think she's hit or miss, man. Most yeah, boy. Miss. She's most she, did a, um, she did a uh, retailer and variant of... Um, Bro. Reprint of Cherry Pop Tart number one. Oh. <laughs> Did you miss the first run of Thor number 20 with the God of Hammers? Well, here we are. The second printing. Got for all you folks that tried to get it or jumped on too late, like a lot of us, like us, when we realized that people order them off the website. We're getting that in, uh, getting that worked out though. The inventory. We had a little snap. Is that a carnage for a minute? It is. Dark Ages. Boy, did we get a lot of those. That is an A cover. Well, a lot of people pull this book. They do. It's like well up into the double digits. That's Deadpool and Carnage. And Venom. And the Citizen. Well, Citizen is really, really going heavy with the Marvel themed watches too. On the back. What? Oh, it is? Yep. All right. Almost to the bottom here. Let's see if we've got something new. Da, 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 da. And we don't. It's Dark Ages. Number All Dark five. Ages. It's the right. A cover. This is a fat box here. But there's not many titles on it. So you know what I think it is? Mostly? Probably a big heavy. Is there a... I bet it's more Carnage books. Yeah, but say mostly carnage books. A lot of variants. I'm pretty sure we got a lot of variants on this one. Yeah. We've already seen this one. Carnage Forever. Play the hits, Marvel. Play the hits. Or Silk. Yeah. Everybody's playing the hits. That's pretty good. Pretty good looking cover there. Who's the other person? I don't know. I don't read that stuff, so I don't know. Ooh. Matt, you got anything? Are you reading Silk, Matt? Man, we got a bunch um, of Silk. I'm not sure. Is that one of the um, New Asians Atlas characters? Mm -hmm. uh, Bro, I don't know. It's like this is a new run. Um, obviously, got several. We just work here. on this. We just work here. We just order what people ask for. Yeah. We don't know anything about comic books. Mostly. All right, Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man gonna be good what's this silver server rebirth number two number two that's the a cover too mm-hmm let's make another pile. Yeah, make another pile. Make another pile more silver surfer i wonder if people were liking silver surfer i didn't read the first one it's perfect jumping on point i think i've not heard anything negative mm -hmm. but i can't say i've heard anything like exclamation point. There was yeah, that was a spec heavy for our shop. Something sexy about that cover. Hmm. Can you guess what? Can't imagine what you <laughs> might think that would be. Well, it's something. The assessor and quantum returned to finish Miles off. Hmm. Miles Morales, Spider Man. Yep. X Deaths of Wolverine number three. I just think there's too many X Men titles. X Deaths, X Lives, yeah. Well, everybody's playing the hits with the big two. They are just going real wide with these characters, the, their best ones. Oh, here's the A cover. Ghost Rider. Ah, the big number one. Ghost Rider number one. It's a big book this week. Yeah, looks like a big 64, doesn't it? Oh, that's a lot of Ghost Riders in here. We yeah, I remember, we the, down on I remember Ghost the pulls too. Were, were heavy way back when we did the FOC. Well, I mean, if it's good, everybody wants to jump on and start a new series, you know. Mm -hmm. That's just a good thing. Yeah. 
That is a good thing. Here it is, boys. Oh, there's an A cover. That's, an a, that's a good looking A cover. Symbiotes. Symbiote. Oh. Carnage, if you nasty. Carnage and Ghost Rider, the two books of the week. Mm hmm. I think that's all that's left in here. All right. Well, looks like it. Oh, there's some Spider Man books. Yeah. A couple of ASM number 90 and lots of carnage. All right. You pulling carnage, Matt? Negative. That's a negative Ghost Rider. And first off, we have a variant cover. Devil's Ring. Is this a... And if you missed... The first printing, the first go around of Hulk number two. Starship Hulk. Starship Hulk. Nothing's going to stop him now. Yeah. Okay, good. In good shape? Pretty good shape. We got, Sometimes when we get these from Penguin, we got a little corners. Little corner little action. Corner action. Yeah. And if you missed the first printing of Venom number three, well, we're back. Second printing. Second printing. Any Moon Knight fans out there? Sure there are. Well, if you missed out. <laughs> it's taking a lot of second printings on this one, huh? On Moon Knight number six, we have a second printing. I always buy a couple of second printings because you just never know. You never know. know. You, know you got the bought, readers. You got the readers. We'd have bought ten copies of Timeless number one, second printing. All right. Could have been in good shape, Joey, but you know what? Technically, those should be in one of these boxes. Really? Really? Ben Riley. All right. That's Number good. two. I like that cover. Yeah. It's a good looking cover. Scarlet Spider. It's a little. What you got? Well, um, we've got some more Villains Reign. Number two. Villains for Hire. That's a Captain Marvel. That's a. Uh... Ben Riley is on the scene. With the A cover. I like the other cover better. Yeah, how do you too? My watch is vibrating. Oh, there it is. I think, okay. Yep, timeless. There we are. All right, guys, here it is. We've got three. And the way we've decided to sell these to customers is we're going to have a bat lift duel to the death. Yeah. So get your bat lifts out. Show up. We're going to play some Star Trek music. Fight mm -hmm. music. Yeah. You know, winner take all. This is the first cover appearance of the new logo. Uh, That's why. Mm. Spec, spec, spec. These. Do we we've already any? got them. We better see what they're going for already because that's what it's going to cost. <laughs> no, you're not getting these for retail. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody's like, hey, can y'all give me that uh, 1 in 25 or that unlockable? It cost. Appreciate it. Thanks. What we got there? Oh. Well, in case you missed out on Crimson Rain number one. I can already tell you it's a better cover than... Well, this is just a black and white version of the A cover of the last oh, one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember that, that now. sort of. But it's a second printing. Kira. Kira. These look like second printings, too. Anybody still on Crimson Rain? I had a little... I'm not saying it's bad, but I had a, a kind of a, a rough time with number two. I didn't, I didn't read number two yet. You didn't like it? I'm not going to say I didn't like it, but I, it, it it's was getting a little convoluted for me. Did we get a Venom number three already? Well, this is Venom number two. If you missed out. If you missed out. Oh. And if you missed out on number one of Devil's Reign. Is so, that all of them? Did we, We've got like five or six, maybe seven second printings in this shipment. Yeah, but the timeless. Did we just get three of those? Just got three. I bet. I bet. I didn't look at the picture. I don't think it had a picture when I ordered it. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or I would have ordered 10 of them. Well, I mean, still, FOC, we both look at, at, at all that. Um, I don't think it had a picture. The one that I wanted was the 1 in 25 second printing, which was a black and white version of Miss Minutes. But I'd had to order 25 of them. And I was like, there's no way I'm ordering 25 of these. No. Um, yeah, we, we dollar box a lot of timeless. No, we haven't. Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah, all those variants. 
We only, I thought we saw one. The, one or the, two. The variants were so much of a variant they were unrecognizable as to what the book was. So well, you're, you're talking about those character variants. Mm-hmm. The A cover sold out. The, the cover, Miss Mendes cover Mendes sold out. That, but, but other than that, I think that you're right. Those are stacked. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I guess it's not fair to say because they were variants. But you couldn't tell what they were. One of them looked like a James Bond book. Guy on there, you know. Remember that one in the suit? <laughs> it's like, so, Wasn't that Namor? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was. It me a headache. Um, so that's that's the week. We got some diamond books coming in. If you scroll down a little bit, we got Berserker. Yeah, I'm allegedly been, Berserker's supposed to be out. Saga. I've, I've been ordering just a few, like because if if allocations happen, I'll get a few off of Diamond, like a few Marvel books. Just I tried to go back into Penguin and order some more of those Timeless books, and it. So they were back. I got back to the checkout, and they were like, "These are back ordered." Huh? Let's see now, but. Saga 56 looks like it's this week. Yeah. Berserker it, number seven. We haven't had Berserker in a while. Um, we haven't, man. Department of Truth number 16. We'll get a couple people pull that, but not a lot. Mm-mm. It, well, it, it kind of fell off. We had quite a few. Looks like, uh, go ahead, Nat, and go down with Matt. Um, looks like House of Slaughter number five. Mm. It, you been reading that? Number five? I haven't read this. No. Um, Oblivion Song, Gunslinger Spawn. Is that Gidley class? Is that a? Oh, I guess that's going back. Out. Hmm. Like I said, it's a very heavy Marvel week. Yeah. Wait, we didn't get any High Republic books. Did we stop ordering those? No, it's High Republic Adventures that'll come in with Diamond. Mm, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You're right. Um, Super Massive. What is Super Massive? Is that this week? Is that number one? Yeah, I ordered I ordered some of those. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep, yep. Image. It's Is that the Radiant Black thing? Yeah. crossover? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, I want to read that one. Yeah. Um Black Hammer Reborn. Radio. I hope we got some of those because we've got people pulling radio pockets. I don't know why we wouldn't have if we'd been pulling it. I yeah. think I went in and got that. Make sure because that's a vault comic. Yeah. Oh, the rush. Number four. Yep, so um, There's some books we haven't seen in a minute. The Rush out. Yeah. Um, um, oh, Bolero number two. Your, yeah. There you go, Trent. Oh, Bolero. No, uh, Jeff Stone. <laughs> we got Bolero number two for you, buddy. Yeah, man. Um, I wonder if it is a variant. We'll have to get that for him too. <laughs> One of those black black bag variants. <laughs> <laughs> they have black bag variants. I don't. Probably not. I don't know. That's pretty funny. He said he was going to send it to a friend. <laughs> He said he was embarrassed reading it. It's pretty funny. Um, the Heathens. I got to catch up on that, but that started out pretty good. Eh. 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 There's some good stuff. Um, oh, Heavy Metal Drummer. Oh, that, has that come out yet? Dude, it, it's... It, it just keeps getting delayed. It keeps getting delayed. Like, I'll check I'll check Diamond, and it says that they haven't received it yet. Ah, uh, nice. So, it is on a dock somewhere. Probably sitting there. Is that number two? Or no, it's number one. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mad man. It's getting down into the thick of it now. Yeah. Comic shop news. Yeah. Let's see. Knights of the Round Dinner Table. I know you're no. a big fan. No. no. Um, I'm not getting any of these. These are those. Exciting comics. I don't even get any of these. I don't think so. Yeah, we're you can go the, down, 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 down. We're in the weeds, man. Definitely. Holy cow. We didn't even get Archie. No. Um, we got Archie over here dying like to it. death over here in these boxes. So that's the that's the week. It's the week. It's gonna be a big. All right, Marvel fans, come on down to Cadets. I mean, you go to Rick's and it's probably like ten times as many books, but for us, this is a big week in Marvel. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, we got to go with what our people want. We don't have a lot of wall shoppers. <laughs> if we had a lot of comic wall shoppers, then you know maybe you, we try to spread it out and get some get some stuff here and there. But there are more that trickle in when browsers. There's some that do it when you're not looking. I mean, they come in and ask for those specific books. I had a lot of people come in asking for um, obviously key books that have sold out. But I'm like, hey, have you got this one? You got this one? And so I had that a lot. I noticed that a lot this week. Yeah. The thing, though, is uh, we open on Wednesday at noon, 
be here because those books that are that are hot they they run off that wall real quick real quick um so um people call it one be like hey you got nope nope it's all gone sold out don't be calling here at 11 30 on wednesday asking for that timeless book (laughs) it's probably gonna be sold out (laughs) we won't put that one online so you have to get that in the shop probably not yeah they uh, the online. I've actually got to bring some books. I want to see what that one's going. For a, you think it's on key yet? Online order. Which one? On, the timeless book. Oh. You think it's on key yet? Probably. Hot keys of the week. Hot keys of the week. Um. Yeah, man, it's been a. How do yeah. you think the sale went? I think it went really well. I think um, you always want to move. You look. I, I look around and I say I, I see some things that I wish would have sold a little bit better, but um, definitely some things that I would like to see thin out a little more. But you know, it's whatever. We've uh, it's not it's not even we made a lot of room. Um, for on keys, it's still listed at six bucks. Yeah, well, it will be in probably till like after Wednesday when they start selling. However, they aggregate their their data. You know, they. I'm gonna check eBay. Yeah, I know that's one of the things, but they're pretty vague about it. So. It's for three dollars on eBay. <laughs> I guess yeah. it's not a big deal. People, yeah, pre people do pre pre sell them on eBay. And some of that stuff, some of those prices so are that won't crazy. that won't jump until the day of, uh, if it after, does at all, or after because it has to have sales data, I believe, in there where where there's records or some sales. influencer gets on there and says, "Get this book." Well, yeah, but I don't I don't know if it necessarily reflects on keys. Which man, I am, I am just so I've always so been on the fence with keys. Um, this little dude, we we did a I did a video, just a dumb one off little stupid video with um this little fella right here and dude it's like last i checked it was like six thousand should have put that on tiktok bro i know i don't know tiktok i gotta do that better yeah use the force he'll play hide and seek how does he do that so you put you put that on and it has this little radar this little beeper here yeah and so you have to keep that little guy that you're holding your hand on your wrist, and it's and it's sent, it it's infrared, so it follows you around if you want it to. It, oh, it'll follow you. It'll follow you if you wear really? it, and it, and it'll also play hide and seek. So you go hide in the booth, and put him over here. He'll kind of navigate around the stuff and come to you. It's a cool toy. It is a cool toy. We only got one left. Oh, we sold it. I sold it. I took this one out to sell the other one. And sold the other one. And sold the other one. And that thing sat on the shelf collecting dust for months. For the longest time, yeah. We don't yeah. have any of these Grogu's left. I got a little, you know, little dude back there that just sits in the pouch. Oh, we're still here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah still yeah, here. Way this back, one's a cool one. Back in the very, yeah, that's a really cool one. Yeah, I I, I really like I, what it does. You know, they missed the mark on this. It's adorable. You know what? Because, mm. like, when Grogu or the child was so popular, they didn't have any toys. Not super cool like this. They had. They, you got to think though. We like, got that with Hasbro. One. You know, it's got to be like after the episode one debacle. Uh-huh. Like it's they're probably like we're just gonna see what, forever yeah, see. to the end of time. Yeah. You know. Well, they. But they would have crushed it with the child though. Yeah. Everybody remember when we were at Flea Land. People were always like, we, well, we had when we were at Flea Land. We had uh, we bought that animatronic which isn't as cool as this one but like it was the coolest one at the time and i don't know if we had six or 12 of them but we sold some online we sold out of them really really quick yeah then after that kind of like there was this lull and then all of a sudden Mm -hmm. all this merchandise landed yeah probably that was probably supply chain issues but you know it's just like man they really yeah but after watching boba fett it looks like Old Grogu is going to be back, back in action. Baby. And he's not, you know, d- going to be a Jedi. He's going to be a Mandalorian foundling. That's right. He's yeah, along for the ride. And he's, you know, just like you guys said in the little <laughs> R2, in the bubble. Th- in the R2 bubble. I don't know about that thing. I don't know about that fighter, man. I'm not digging it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it either. But, I mean, it, it looks cooler than it did when it was yellow. But, I mean, the dude can, you know. You know, when I had that Naboo and, fighter yeah. for 20 years. <laughs> and we sold it at, at Fleeland for 20 bucks and now it's like 
a flea lens. It's like a two. I think that's some of them were selling like two hundred, three hundred bucks. Yeah, online. and just so people can customize it, customize it, put yeah. some put some silver spray paint on it. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, and I saw this this last week that all the um, razor crests people started getting those. Oh yeah, and, and then they we got a phone call about that flooding on uh, uh, eBay. <laughs> well, I had a, one of our customers called and said, "Hey, do you want this razor crest of mine?" I said, "How much do you want to sell for?" Um, seven fifty. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want that thing. <laughs> it says it out wide. Say what? And I, that, that, that's what's killing this business is too many speculators out there just buying stuff to resell it. Yeah, it's – hold on. Let's, this is my little video here. And probably if you say, oh, I got this many views on it, it's – yeah, it's it's almost 6,000 views. That's a lot for Joe and you. That's a lot for us. Yeah. That's a lot for us. Was it on Cadets? Yeah, it was, I did a reel on oh. Instagram, and it shares over to Facebook. and Oh. Yeah. And so, but there was like 10 Facebook views and then all the other were Instagram. Well, maybe so we get 6,000 scrolls a week. Mm -hmm. People just scroll through it. And every time you hit that and it plays, it counts as a, a play. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know how that works. I should know, but I don't. 6,000, 6,000 though. I want to actually, that marketing book by your boy. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to read it? Yeah, I want to finish. I started reading it. I, I did about a chapter there real quick, and I was like, ah, I want to read the rest of this. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm still well, about I'm halfway through. I'm going to get that to you. Yeah. What's his name, Timothy? No. What? If you hadn't asked me, I would have known. Anyway. <laughs> it's not Timothy. He's a story brand guy. Cause yeah. I, I, I read yeah, that here book. in Nashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So he's I don't think book. his name is Tim, though. Yeah, I'm sorry. if I, Yeah, I probably He's probably not listening to our podcast. He might be. You never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. You never know who sees this stuff. Well, um, we talked about books this week. Mm -hmm. I got to go pick up Funko Pops this week. That's a thing. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. You need to go. To and then I'm out of town next weekend. Next, actually, me and Matt both are gone. I think Matt's gonna. I'm gonna be doing this for from my phone. I'm just gonna. You may just have to do a, like do a, a solo. Facebook Live. Yeah, just a, a Facebook Live and record it. Put it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you and Grogu. You have to give me the. Yeah, you have to give me the login. Um. Yeah, we. It's not, you know, we've had like this kind of like been our mo the last mm. couple of weeks. It's like we do a week, we take off a week, we do a week, we take a, you know. So it's like finding that time to be really be here is because it takes time to set this up and then it takes a whole day to put this stuff on the internet. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's a you know HD. It this is, it's a big like it's a pretty big setup here that people don't see, but yeah, there's a lot to it, and it's um yeah it's a big file you know coming coming out with these hd cameras yeah it's a full it, day to upload right yeah because i have and crappy internet well if you well it's like my internet get in well, no no i did but my internet service goes out every 30 minutes like literally it stops broadcasting to our apartment so it's like yeah well give me that give me give me the card i'll i'll put it on the old com i actually machine. literally took a ethernet cable last time and plugged it directly into to the modem and it did not load really no it took longer to do it that way than it did through the wi-fi how is that possible i have no idea I, other than the fact that the internet shuts off i don't believe like it. it's consistent you can almost set your clock by the how spectrum is terrible people <laughs> it's as bad as dc comics if not worse <laughs> So, man i'm just i told you i wasn't gonna dog dc tonight. Uh -uh. hey I, I did enjoy batman I, pu I, I pulled some of those DCs out of the dollar box. I haven't, it's funny. I haven't even cared about them until I was like, oh, they, people are buying these for a dollar. It's like, oh, this is a, this is a cool, Wait, we're this is a cool B cover. This is a cool B. So, yeah, I read some. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm liking Catwoman and the detective and Batman's getting uh, better. The Night's been good. Batman the, the Night, Night has with been good. With Chip You know what? That's I, pretty good. I missed out. I didn't get a chance to read number two, and they're gone. Mm -mm, I, had, I, have, I had two covers that I took home on accident, so I've got one I'm going to bring back. Sweet. So we don't sell it. How was number two? Hey, I'll it's read good. it very carefully and I'll put it back on the shelf. It's very good. I do that. I so. meant to bring it today and I forgot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's good. I've enjoyed that story. But again, back to what old dude said in that po that article article last week or two weeks ago, whatever we read. There's still just Batman titles. You know, it's not like heavy, wide, like. 10? And you can say Dark Knights of Steel or DC versus Zombies, but it's Batman. Batman's still in those Batman. Still Batman related books. It's not yeah. like it's. Now, I haven't read Aquaman number one. 
Mm-hmm. I, I don't have high hopes. I don't have high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> but like I don't like couldn't care less about Aquaman on the best of days. So you know, man, he's been around forever. He has, but like and he's always had titles that have come and gone. He's a character gone. that just doesn't interest me at all. It really doesn't. You know, it's just like that Family Guy, uh, that clip that I showed you where he's in the water and the guy's on the beach, like assaulting the woman, and he's like in the water. He's like, "Hey, you better not do that. If you come in the water, you're gonna be in trouble, man. You better stop. Hey, I'm telling you, if you're if you come in the water, you're in trouble." I'll tell you right oh, yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. So it. it's like, uh, yeah, that's, I, I know that's not really how it is, but like, it's, you know, I don't know. What, what is good about Aquaman? Tell me what would be exciting about Aquaman. Well, technically, Aquaman has like superhuman strength and when he's out of the water, you know, he's like, he's got a lot, he's got a lot of powers that don't really get brought. He's also the king of Atlantis. I mean, he's king of, but so is Namor, isn't he? Matt? Submariner. That's my understanding. Yeah. So. That's what the, it's a word on the street, Tommy. It's a word on the street, bro. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I, I actually read the, when they did Rebirth, I, I read a few Aquaman issues and it was more about Atlantis was going to war with the United States or the land dwell, or they call them, you know, mm-hmm. but and Aquaman was trying to defuse all that. But I think that story's played out, you know. Was it like, um, what, so that's like 20. So is Obama. So he's like, would Obama, did Obama, I, Obama make a, a, an appearance in any of those? Since they're going to war with America? 2016. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I was 16. Yeah. I was on the war line. Well, it was the same year as the election, but yeah. I don't think Obama was in it. I was curious. Um, here's what I think about Aquaman. If they did, okay, you know there's like all those kingdoms under the ocean. Mm-hmm. You know, they show them in the movie. Yep. If they did like the backstories and histories of that, maybe they have, and I just never read it. You know, maybe that's why they're out there. But that stuff I would find interesting with Aquaman. Like the history of like. But you're going deeper. You're doing inside baseball for Aquaman. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever sells the books, right? <laughs> I can't imagine that being something that sells the books. But yeah, I, I hear you. you. What do you mean inside? I don't think. No, no, I'm talking about like an actual history of the 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 of Atlantis and the kingdoms and how they split up and you know yeah well, well I thought you were talking about like all the history of each if they did some kind of like yeah. Hatfields and McCoys thing about <laughs> it you know that would be fine or a Romeo and Juliet story which I think is what well yeah you know just something you have to sell it you'd have to really sell it a certain way but yeah I think there's ways of doing it that would make it but very that, interesting that's part of the deal you know what but it, I think the here's the problem with they that. don't sell it so they don't sell it on they're trying record. to sell like anxiety and like but they, uh, don't, they don't sell anything very well. Who? Like, we, we need support from the publishers in creating this excitement. And it seems like we're the only ones that like, that have to do that. It's just like they're printing the books. They're putting something on the website, maybe a little. Well, when you look at the numbers, it's like, hey, we've got to get, we get this book out. Let's just do a book. Oh, you have a story about Starship Hulk. Let's put that out. You know, like, it doesn't matter. It's like they – it's to these big companies like AT&T and Disney, they – just have to make money. The story is way down the road, but it doesn't seem like it. It, it uses and they could give a to... flying flip about small mom and pop comic shops across I, the country. I know that, but they're the ones that they're the vehicle for for the sales. Well, Unless yeah, they try to push everything to the app. Well, they they only care about MCU's and DC extended universe stories or you know their streaming services. Now that's all they care about. You know, they care about, can I, you know, make a Grogu, animatronic Grogu. This this is... But if somebody has a really cool story or a really cool character and it gets picked up and it gets popular, that's where a lot of this It stuff does start with from. story. Think uh, about everything that every 40-year-old adult comes in here and buys is because they loved the cartoon in the 80s, mm-hmm. you know, or they loved a movie from the 80s. That's what's, I think, missing from selling products right now because I think that's what's happened with Funko Pops. It's just gotten co- so convoluted. Well, you made a really good good point about some. I don't know if you talk, we talked about this on here, but you made a good point about a customer that came in and said that he can't relate to the um, criticisms that you have with with DC and stuff like that because they're of an age of where they don't they don't remember before they weren't alive. They haven't experienced. Yeah, they yeah. don't. Know. That and was so, a good point. And so this is something. This is the world that they know, 
and you know we sound like crotchety old men you know that, yes that are, that are you're complaining right. get you're off right. my yard and <laughs> it's uh you know and they're just like hey dude i love this i love peacemaker i love justice league movie i love the Snyder cut i love you know um whatever so and i do think and i have to admit i do think some of my has you know my reservations and negativity towards peacemaker tv show is because i'm just because of the dc universe as it is as a whole just so burned out with it you know did you watch that video no oh. i haven't had a chance to watch it yeah you had the chance to watch it. you just didn't watch it i watched part of it i didn't see the other part that i'll watch it anyway so no i don't think you sent the whole video i, I recorded it myself i just sent it all okay all right, so but that's a good um, point. Don't get off track. That was a good point. No, I'm not off track. That's that's that, that, that and and it's the same way with Star Wars because um, you know the pre you have the prequel generation, you have the generation of the of the original trilogy, um, you have the sequel generation, and you know like I have that I found I have that Force Awakens book that I got pretty cheap, and and that was a, I liked that movie. Okay, but here, here's I think but, it, but here's where I think where we're mis there's a miscommunication. Yes, this customer who is young can't wasn't exposed to storylines prior Mm -hmm. the storylines that we're reading now yes they're geared towards the audience that exists today and the the things they're going through right Mm -hmm. but human stories are human stories stories they're stories about the human condition and people connect to things that resonate on a basically a survival level Mm -hmm. all right I'd agree with love, that. Love, yeah. fear. Relatable things. Things that, yeah. I mean, I mean, and the more primal it is, that emotion is, right. the more they're going to connect with it. All right, so even though anxiety is rampant in today's youth, right, mm-hmm. not everybody resonates with that because you've got so many people that do experience it. Yes, it's a real thing, and they have all these symptoms from it, but then there's a lot of people that just, that just they don't get it. You know what I mean? They don't. And there's a traffic jam. I think there's a disconnect between those issues today and Is that a door? basics. That? Somebody's going to the bathroom, I think. Oh, okay. Um, oh, my gosh. Somebody's coming in. There's a back door. I was like, wait. wait, wait. Well, it's not the back door. <laughs> well, I think there's a, I think there's a, uh, like a traffic jam kind of at the intersection of like trying to tell th- these stories and then also, you know, trying to shoehorn, you know, a lot of uh, um, issues issues and, and things like that and, and uh, representation and, and things like that. And I think there's a harmonious way to do it uh, without, you know, the shoehorning and all the all that coming trying to come together. This is, this is my favorite part of the show. Matt, you got an opinion? Um, I don't know how much time you got. <laughs> We're going to go about 10 more minutes. We talked about storytelling uh, like the last time we did this. Yeah. But that's my point is like I think there are – you're right. I think that you're trying to shoehorn – putting you know a square peg in a round hole a lot of times and it's just it's um it's tough and anyway i think i think there's somewhere to bridge that gap between i think that could because you're you're never it's like you said we're never going to go back to the good old days Mm -hmm. you know because why would we you could though just make an imprint for but that there stuff. are things that are universal through time there's a reason why bible stories exist for thousands of years all right it's because they're human stories about mm-hmm. survival that's why we told stories it was basically and there's a lesson parables. avoid pain yeah. seek you know pleasure kind of mm-hmm. that conversation seek when I, when I say seek pleasure it's to seek things that make you feel good about life you know right um things that make you happy there, here he is so here he comes so you know, we've you know, talked about how Batman, as so far as DC's publishing goes, has dominated the market so far as DC books go, right? Now, how many D- uh, Bat books are there? You know, I think there was a list that there was like, I don't know, a 10 or so in the top 50. I mean, there's a bunch, right? Yeah. Lots. So now we have saturation of the market, and we're putting all our eggs in that one basket. Mm-hmm. The idea behind story is that it's universal. Wow. You know, you know, you have a good story when you can take that same story concept, tell it in the old west, tell it contemporarily, tell it in the future. As long as you can take those concepts and, t- and fit those in those genres, you know you have a solid story. Why is it that you can't take one of those Batman stories that you're telling, if you're telling it correctly, 
and apply it to Wonder Woman or or Aquaman or whatever and just take that story concept and put it within those parameters of those worlds. I, I, it's oversaturation in certain areas and you're, in, and you're killing your own product doing it. I that think way. it's over gimmicking it just like they do with the covers. You know, you're over gimmicking this whatever story arc you're trying to create and you just humans don't buy it. People don't buy it. They don't go, I don't buy it. Not literally don't purchase it off the shelf. They don't connect with this. They don't connect with that. They're not going to get it, you know, and there are universal concepts, human concepts mm -hmm. that are universal to all humans. And yes, is it the same story over and over and over and over again? Probably. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a story of love. It's a story of struggle. It's a story of, um, betrayal. Hero's journey. It, yes, we talked about this in the last podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where you, they need to go back to fundamentals. It's the same thing for the problem with sports. Nobody's playing defense. Nobody's, you know, not in basketball anyway. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> nobody's running off. I literally was watching much. that one game, and they, not, not many the Kentucky game, around. and I was like, they let them score 50 points and a half the first half. I'm like, who are they even playing defense? It's like who can score the quickest. My point is, is they're not doing the fundamentals. They're just all out here, free, you know, what my coach used to call playing street ball, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and they're sh trying to show how good of a talent they are, period. And it's like, oh, this is a good idea. And that works if you're trying to do some sort of cool concept cover. You know, back in the day when DC did the Elseworlds books, you know, that's a good time to kind of break out of the mold and, and do a weird story. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think I remember reading one about, you know, it was like a Batman and they were on a spaceship, you know, you know, trying to go to a different galaxy. And there was a Batman on this spaceship that was kind of like, and it was like a Soylent Green kind of thing, you know, where people were <laughs> eating each other, you know. Yeah. Um, but there's a place for those things, you know. I just don't see, but you've got to stick to the fundamentals too, especially when it comes to story, or you're not going to make a connection. If you can't make a connection, you're not going to sell it. Yeah, you know, and that's why nobody's rushing in here to pick up Aquaman or Wonder Woman or the Flash because they haven't connected with the character yet. The character's not going through something that most people would understand, right? And when I say most people, you know, it's like I said, there are people that go through certain issues. I'm using, I'm harping on the anxiety thing because I can't think of something else off the top of my head. But not everybody's going through anxiety. You know what I mean? Is mm -hmm. there the I think one of the best characters they created around anxiety was Jessica Cruz. Um, you know, literally the woman never left her apartment and she becomes a green lantern. And in order to become a green lantern, you have to be able to overcome fear. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's an interesting character. Yeah. Does that make sense? Overcoming crippling anxiety is a, yes. And being able to overcome that in a sense to become a feat. superhero, like yeah. a green lantern. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting character. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you put her in situations where she has to constantly overcome these these barriers, yeah. you know? And what does she learn in the process? You know, is she completely anxiety free? No. Does that make sense? But it, it makes sense, yeah. And and giving some of these things backstories too, like, you know, when you know, with John Kent, they it, it was a they made a big deal about it with representation, but but to me, reading it it was an afterthought they didn't give it any development they didn't get how what, how did he come to this yeah I don't it was remember a moment that. it, it was, was a like, moment yeah it was like and it when then it was over a shock moment yeah the dead and, cat bounce yeah well and then well you've got the um like with anxiety like anxiety is not something that you're born with it's developed and um it, it's something like so so if like someone like Jessica Cruz, she how did that something happen to come her? About? Something she got, like something traumatic story. happened to her. Right. Yeah. Tell those stories, and and it gives it depth and 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 makes it very relatable, and um and and could even inspire people if it's well written to how she overcame yeah. it. You know, it, you you have these levels. Uh, you know, that, but I think that's what I was going back to what I said about it's all gimmicky. It's mm -hmm. they're gimmicks that they're using to. to get attention mm -hmm. or to show how clever they are or how awesome of an artist I am or how awesome of a writer I am or a creator. They're not giving it any, you try right, It's an afterthought. It's like, it's in, or it, it's like, it's insulting. It's, it's like a, here, this is how, I, yeah, it is. Insulting. It's placating, you know, I think so to, for someone that's really lived that life and, is, is, and, and, and had a real struggle coming to that point, like John Kent, that's, you know, you know, that's, uh, um, isn't even in his boyfriend and 
not even a real person. Like it's a it's a um a ghost or something? Yeah, um What is his deal? Uh or, but, he's, but, or but, he's like a hologram or something. Yeah, he's no, he's not a hologram, but um but, but the even up to that point, regardless of that, it's it it had no depth. It was a moment. And people that go through something like that and come to that place have been through a lot. That's that, um, you know, they've been through a lot. Yeah, they're struggling with their sexuality. They're struggling with coming out. They're a certain way. They, 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 they're gay. They want to be straight because that's normal. They don't have to have a, a weird conversation with their parents about being straight and stuff like that. So, you know, but then it's like, oh, okay. So you guys, you know, uh, team teamed up and you know. I'm just curious. Did you talk to this to Abe about this? Uh, no, I haven't. I'd no. be interested to hear that conversation. It would be, yeah, yeah. It, from somebody really. But but I know I know Abe's struggles. Sure. And they were rough. mighty, very rough. Yeah. And she's happy now, and she's accepted, and she's living a, a great life, and uh, in and being who she is and who she wants to be. Um, uh, but yeah, it was a nightmare of a struggle come to mm-hmm. that point. Yeah. I think it's an interesting topic and I think that's, it's the things it's like you said, they have to be built into it. Like it has to be built around it. And I think seeing a character like Jessica Cruz who overcame fear, you know, and became a green lantern, you know, is that's an interesting story, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and there are other characters out there like that, you know, Aquaman's story is very, it's just old. It's mm-hmm. an old, long story. Wonder Woman's like, she's basically indestructible. I mean, not really, but I mean, she's all powerful. Yeah, you know, Superman, it's like, you know, what are her, what are her challenges? What does she have to? I mean, I think maybe it's like there doesn't have to be. Well, no, but even think about it though. She's a she's a god. You mm-hmm. know, what does a god? What can a god other than really delving into? I mean, what character would be more perfect? to mm-hmm. delve into actual human struggles, you know, is then somebody like Wonder Woman. And I think that's what Matt's trying to say. Am I yeah. right, Matt? Well, I think there's things to explore. I mean, I mean it, the pose is a problem. These characters have been around for 70 years, right? That's, a, that's insane. So, I mean, there's a lot. But if you ready. go with, if you go with what, you know, our customer said, he's, he said, I don't know those stories. Mm-hmm. Tell me those stories. Yeah. Tell them again. And, and, and it's just like with you know you accept that Superman's a god. You accept write write that you know write them kicking ass through the you know time and the galaxy and and the worlds and the multiverse and um, have uh, you know if I'm if I'm somebody in that position I it's not that I'm worried about dying. If my heart's in the right place, I w- I'm worried about how the heck do I save everybody and. You know, keep these things from happening. As as indestructible as I am, I can't be everywhere at one time. You know, so uh, you know, just lean into that. Don't don't try to you know make Batman's uh, inner voice and struggle Superman's. I think so. that's true, and I don't, I think the there's some things that have been overplayed, especially in, with Batman. You know, they just need to park it for a bit. Mm-hmm. You know, or make imprints that that kind of categorize some of this stuff. So, some of the stuff that. You know that might fall into stuff that we'd like, and you know, well, I you haven't know, I haven't thought that through. It's just something sure. I threw out there. But I agree, like, but you know, know, even some of Batman's side characters are, have great stories. Yeah, you know, and they're just not played out. They're mm-hmm. just again, they're all afterthoughts. How do we work Tim Drake in? How do we work, you know, spoiler in or Kat, Cassandra? Can they, like, yeah. they've got the Batgirl's book has been. I mean, it's not for me. It's it's written well, really well for. Well, Tom King, For young girls. everybody that, that's trying to make it, uh, even if your heart's in the right place, maybe it is, or if you're trying to make a splash, if you really want to get, do representation the right way, give it more than what you're giving it. I think stop writing to get a movie deal. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. You know, it's like, or writing to be the guy that, you know, because, you know, you can do that stuff and people be like, oh, you know, he's, you know, and hold him up like a like this angelic thing that he's you know really um moving the needle for for the cause and that's not his motivation or i I don't think it is that's an opinion we could beat this horse to death we could and we do we have (laughs) well i'm gonna 
wrap it up here, dude. I'm, it's getting that time. Yeah. I got to drive to Nashville and back, so. Oh. Fun times. Good times. Yeah. It's always fun. So I'll break this bad boy down. We'll do, we'll do it Tuesday morning. And while I'm thinking about it, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. Hit that little yeah bell on there and give it a share too. Give it a share. Give us a comment. We do something. A, yeah, we need more comments. We need more likes and shares. And um, you know, we're just we're, and come by the shop and see us. Come by the shop and see us. We're this is you know we're not you know we're not professional podcasters. You're a professional at making this look fantastic, and 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 Matt is, but uh, um, you know we're we did this. Our you know, our, I think our, this our mission is, statement for this was as an extension of the store and what we're doing and we just like to talk about this stuff dude i, I think we're at episode 12 we are this is episode yeah. 12 mm-hmm. so it's not bad Mm-mm. for long we'll be at episode 20 yep it'll be big have you seen the, the early episodes of joe rogan oh, <laughs> or, the, or yeah, just he's, any of he's those high things? as a kite and like talk is this thing good yeah <laughs> i saw the first one it's it, pretty it, funny just, and like mark Marin and is it just a lot of those cut comedians yeah. it's just like uh ooh, you know well i do think bad. we need to get some more guests on here that always helps with numbers so mm-hmm. i'm looking forward to try to get west down here maybe some other comic guys and be cool yeah yeah manage comics <laughs> they do want to do a, a, a do zoom call. we gotta it. figure yeah. that out so maybe that, that'll be a thing here for too long they're right. working hard man i gotta give them some love you gotta give them some love they're they they've they've the biggest thing is i, I know you deal with especially with tech and and, and and an app and something like that all the moving parts um they made our jobs so much easier. They made it. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's you know something you know when we were going in and, and now we just got to get everybody switched over to the get them off league after we spent a year getting them on league. Yeah. So I think that that stuff is they fixed a lot of those because mm-hmm. we sent over pretty good notes and they appreciated. It. I said, look, it could take us a year to go through all this, but I do think we need to start switching people over because it's going to make the pull process better. It's going to make that online buying process better. There's some bugs to work out on our side. Well, we, yeah, we've had I the think snafus gonna, with the inventory, and, and some of that comes just from the, the crossover, the changeover. And the, and we can also download – We can our FOCs are going to be better, so we just mm-hmm. got to – and our orders are going to be better. So we just, we've just we got to do the switch. We're going to have to figure out how to start. If you work for free, um, yeah. <laughs> inbox us. We, we could use some help. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we work for free here, so. Yeah. All right, well. I'm good. All right, son. You good? I'm good. Well, until next week, same. Well, it'll be two weeks, so oh, it will pay be patient weeks. with it. So it'll be two weeks, and then hopefully we'll get back in a routine. You know, I've got a lot of traveling coming up, and I know you do too at some point. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're going to be, we may have to figure out a different time. Card, but I'm on the road. Yeah. Yeah. In and out. So hopefully we got a good manager that can run this this thing through the week we may have to start having subs in here but you know we got to get people to set set the show up so all right all right thanks for watching we'll see you later see you later buddy bye son see you son